For a long time, I had always wanted to be successful, to become someone who achieves so much that my life becomes an impact to others. But growing up, I was overly protected and always had what I needed. Thus, I grew to a point where making decisions and taking steps were not my forte. I loved to work little and get much, so technically, you could call me lazy. As time went on, I was scared that I was going to remain lazy and therefore, since no lazy person succeeds, I didn't expect I would succeed if I continued like this. So what did I do? Out of fear, out of concern for the fact that I would never achieve the kind of life I wanted, I did nothing. Sincerely, I did nothing. I was afraid to be so hard working. I was scared to push myself over the edge. I was scared I would never be strong enough to push myself hard. So. I tricked myself into doing what I didn't like to do. I started slowly. I started first by reading books, lots of books. Then I would practice bit by bit what I learned in the book. As time went on, I was reading so many books and practicing so many things. The mindsets of the authors I was reading was gradually seeping into me. I didn't know when I had started thinking like them, behaving like them, talking like them and achieving their kind of results. You're a target. As the world swings into advanced technology and the internet, there is so much coming at you that you may start to miss the most important things in life. I love young people and love to impact their lives, so I often have a lot of young people around me. Recently, two young people often come to me not to learn anything, not to ask me questions that will better their lives, but to watch movies either on my phone or on my laptop. I have learned never to reject them since that's their choice, but it often saddens me. The reason is simple. In an age where we are deluged by information on every side, where there is no limit to what anyone in the world can learn, it saddens me to see young people waste their time in frivolities. Daily, there are millions of advert bombardments from the internet and offline. Too many businesses are delving into creating more and more apps and businesses that offer pleasure over work. It's very easy to spend so much time on Facebook and other social media channels that you miss the most important thing in your life your personal development, your personal growth. The simple truth is, if you are not working, you are retrogressing. If you are not improving, you are becoming still. If you are not becoming better than you were yesterday, you are going to become obsolete before you know it. The world is moving so fast that personal development is no longer a decision you have to push aside if you must compete with this rat racing world. Personal development is a must. More than ever before, we have more fun options on our fingertips. We have more opportunities to do less or do nothing. Most of the work we used to do at home has now been automated. Long ago, a wife would spend hours and hours doing the laundry without a machine. Now, just at the press of a button, your laundry gets done by the washing machine. This should be a blessing to you, not a curse. How do I mean? The level of your success today is commensurate with the level of your personal development. As the world shrinks into a global village, there are millions of people competing for the jobs you are vying for. Companies in your country can suddenly hire staff from outside your country to work virtually for them. The jobs that seem to be limited to your country has now crossed boundaries. You will only be valued as you develop. The challenge is hitting them all. Recently, I heard some people say these are hard times. This season is a season where most have lost their jobs and most have become suddenly broke. Yet. This is also a season where most have skyrocketed their finances simply by changing with the times. When the times change and you do not change with it, you will be sidelined. When you do not focus on personal development, striving to become better and better at what you do so you can be so valuable, you will be pushed to the sideline. I know someone who works in the same field as I do. He comes to me often to say times are hard. Each time he comes to visit me, he finds me sitting behind my desk in my home office, working. Yet, he never asks how I do it or what is it that I am doing to get over this mess. I don't boast about myself as I know that no man can receive anything unless God gives it to him. But I had wished to tell that friend of mine that if you don't get your rear up to start to get acquainted with online businesses, bringing yourself online to keep learning skills that are working online, you will starve and will continue to starve. I do not say that some offline businesses will not succeed, but most businesses that will succeed are those businesses done online today. I was in a meeting yesterday where we were discussing businesses that will be making it big during this COVID-19 season. 
businesses that offer video conferencing and audio conferencing apps are making stupid tons of money because groups of companies are using these apps to conduct their remote businesses. This is one of such things that would happen if a person decides to go digital. If you're not improving yourself, if you're not constantly developing yourself, you are setting up yourself to be pushed to the back burner. Years ago, before the industrial age, clothes were hand sewn by thousands and thousands of seamstresses. Back then, there were very few clothes to go around. People had very few special clothes because of the limitations of seamstresses. Then suddenly, Singer Company produced a sewing machine. Although the seamstresses protested, saying that sewing machines will take their jobs away, sewing machines grew, and soon there was no need to have thousands of seamstresses anymore. Those who didn't innovate lost their jobs. Innovate or sank. Listen to this. As long as we are in this world, nothing is stable, nothing is constant, only change is. And only those who wake up with change will become better. If you do not value personal development at this time, you are not ruining yourself now, you are ruining your future. If you don't read now more than ever before, you will soon become obsolete. For how will you learn about life, how money works, etc. If you don't watch free educational videos on YouTube, how will you become better? If you don't learn new skills and constantly participate in things that challenge your thinking and help you to become better, you will only add yourself to the number of poor people who will be available in the world in later years. More than ever before, there is a great opportunity to become something better in the world today. With the internet, you can learn almost anything. In the last couple of weeks, I have learned so many new skills I couldn't have imagined I would learn. I am always so fascinated with learning new skills because I don't want to ever be caught unawares when an opportunity comes to use that skill. Abraham Lincoln said, I will prepare, then my opportunity will come. End of quote. You may not have all you need now, but you have all you need to get started to build yourself the kind of life that you want if you would just study. I watched a documentary of a boy in the country who dropped out of school and started studying how to make airplanes on the internet. Now he makes airplanes at the back of his yard just by studying up on the internet and reading other books. Another documentary showed a young boy who studied how to make drones using the internet. Now he makes different types of drones on his own and he's even working on making a flying car. Don't think about it. He already made a prototype of that flying car and it worked. All by just reading up online. Another documentary showed a young boy in my country who made a Ferrari car just in his garage with his friends. The car was tested by one of the highest politicians in my country and it worked superbly. What can you do to become a better person? There is almost nothing you cannot teach yourself if you're willing to. Apart from other skills I have learned, I have learned two new skills just past two weeks and I still plan to keep learning more. The reason is simple. The more you learn, the more you earn. The more you learn, the better you become. The more you learn, the more you become more qualified to be the go-to person when solution is needed. So, don't ever stop developing yourself. Don't ever stop building yourself. Don't even give up becoming a better person. Otherwise, the world as we see it improving at a rapid speed will leave you behind. If this video inspired you, like this video. We love you.